Top Snives Bushcraft Cookery versus the El Chete. Stick around. Guys, if you're like me, you've probably been looking at these two blades thinking which is a better option for survival and bushcraft. I will tell you I'm not a bushcrafter, but I do spend a lot of time out in the wild and I'm in this beautiful forest in the Adirondack Mountains and I will be using all these blades. So what I'm doing is I'm testing the ones and trying to get a feel for what I think is best. Now, bushcraft cookery has been around for a while, so it has the El Chete. The El Chete is a very large knife and the cookery, although a little bit smaller, does have some benefit features to it and we're gonna get into it real quick. So what I need you guys to do is like, subscribe, share, Add all the comments down below. I will put links down below to these products if you are interested in purchasing. You can't go wrong with either of these top products, but we're gonna do a little bit of testing. All right, guys, so I'm in this beautiful forest. Um, I'm at a friend's place I'm doing my little bow hunting and uh, saw, a couple saw a couple of uh, does, nothing worth shooting yet, but I'm still out there. So during my downtime, what I like to do is just test some blades. For you guys, if you like these kind of videos, please like, subscribe, give me that thumbs up button, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the Bushcraft Kukuri. Uh, I will say this is an outstanding blade. It's been around for a while. It is Top's rendition of, uh, of their style of Kukuri. It's a little bit smaller than the El Chete, all right, but it's a nice little compact knife. These are 1095, they are a quarter of an inch thick. This happens to be a traction coating, and I think this is that river wash. Uh, again, both excellent blades. You would not go wrong purchasing either one. So what I'm gonna do is a little bit of batoning with the cookery, and I'll roll in the footage, me practicing with the El Chete as well. All right, guys, so we're gonna start a little bit with the small round. This is about a two or three inch round. I should have no problem cutting through here. Maybe just standing up might be a little bit of an issue. All right, so I'll try to put it in that sweet spot if I can get to it. And again, I didn't think that would be much of an issue. It seems to be splitting really, really well as far as this, so no problems. Even through the knot. No problem. So what do you say we step it up? This is about a four inch round. It does have some knots in it, so hoping to see if I can get through it. Doesn't seem to have any problems getting through it. We say we step it up a notch. Oh, Jesus. All right, the problem you're gonna have here is that the blade is not big enough for this. So, I'm gonna try it anyway. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. All right, because it is a YouTube show, so why not try it, right? Let's see if I could split it. All right, All right. might have to go on the side. Split on there. Go to the other side. Split a little bit more. All right. Not bad. So, it definitely does work. Again, this wood might be seasoned, so it makes it a little bit easier. But, it seems to be going right through. All right guys, so continuing on with the El Chete review. El Chete, very nice knife from Tops. Uh, I'm gonna try to cut this with a baton. As you guys saw, the only issue I had with this was that it was a little bit slippery without using gloves. And again, it's cold out here, it's October, so that might've been just my skin. 
So what I am going to do is I'm going to put some gloves on, see if that fixes it. And then I'm going to do some chop, um, some batoning with it. I'm sure it'll be fine with the baton. So let's do that. All right. I got about, I think this is a four inch, four inch piece of birch. I think it's birch. Looks like birch. I'm not sure. Um, if you guys know, put it in the comment section, but it grows wild here in the Adirondacks and there's a ton of it. So, yeah, absolutely no problem. That's what I figured. I didn't think this was going to be an issue. So there's a big knot over there. I'll try to get rid of it, but this is where the El Chete shines. Let the baton do all the work. Look at that, perfect. All right, gonna go a little bit bigger now. So I had like a four inch, split it, no problem. I think this is about a six to eight inch across, pretty pretty big round. We'll see how well this does. I'm pretty sure the El Chete will not have a problem with this. This is kind of where it shines. All right, it's already splitting the wood. Look at that, no problem. All right, cut it in quarters. Easy firewood. All right, so, so far the El Shetty's doing a really good job. Let's kick it up a notch. All right, this is basically a lock, <laughs> okay? I think this is about 10 to 12, that's about a 10 inch round. I got my El Chete, it's from the same tree, so hopefully it does well. We'll see what it does. Let's see if I can get enough space on here. God, that's a big lock. But, it's breaking. Yeah, it works. Not bad. Very impressed. Let's see. Edge is still sharp. Again, the only thing I would say is that the because of this high grind right here, uh, it will have a tendency to get stuck in some live wood. Now, I don't know how long this wood's been sitting here. Maybe it's a little bit aged, a little bit seasoned, so it splits a little bit better. But as far as uh, live wood, the problem I was having was it, was, it, it would go so deep because of this large flat grind up here that I would have to wrench it out. And it might not seem like a lot, but if you're gonna use this as a survival chopping blade, that takes a lot of energy to get this thing out of a log if you're just trying to make shelter, all right? I, uh, I think yesterday was like a uh, six inch, uh, maybe a four to six inch, um, and it was a live piece of wood, so it was getting stuck. And the other thing is, it works a lot better with gloves. Now that I'm using gloves, I have, feel like I have more of a grip. So that worked out really well. So gloves is, is going to work for you a little bit better. That edge is still sharp. All right, so it is a little bit thinner than, uh, I'm sorry, the handle is a little bit thinner than normally what I'm used to. Uh, I do have extra large hands, but as far as making spikes, no problems. I mean, if I need to make 10 spikes, it's a nice, good chopping option. All right. So that seems to work pretty good. Let me get the El Chete. El Chete, a little bit heavier. Kind of makes for a smoother cut. And that has a lot to do with the grind, and it has to do with the leverage. Some people are not comfortable using uh, kukri style knives, and this might be a little bit more 
of their liking. All right, so doing a little bit of up close work. Again, this is probably gonna be a little bit more manageable. As you can see, I could use a, a push cut. All right. Probably a little bit more control at the edge. I want to do some fire sticking. All right. I will say that it's probably because of the grind going to be a little bit difficult, but tops make stuff really, really sharp. And what I'm talking about grind, as you can see right here, how this has more of a saber grind and it has a lot of belly where a lot of other cookeries um, would be a lot longer. This is not a very long blade. All right, with the El Chete, again, larger blade, different grind. Dig, it's going to dig a little bit more. Again, it has that river wash as you can see it's not no problems digging in whatsoever and this is a very large blade to be doing this kind of work I don't think you should be doing this type of work with a blade this big but if this is all you had and this is all you had you can absolutely do it all right so definitely gonna work now when it comes to the grind geometry you can actually see you can actually see where this is more of a saber grind and this is more of a flat grind. The flat grind is going to allow you for deep, deep, deep penetration. It works well on certain applications such as a fro or if you're trying to split logs. And it will give you that like one chop action if you want to just slice limbs off, which is great. But if you're going to use it as a to chop down trees, it's going to get stuck quite a bit. All right. On the other hand, you have this saber grind and although this is a smaller blade, um, this saber grind right here, as you can see, the, the grind doesn't go all the way up. What that allows it to do is to chip out, okay? So you're actually getting more of an ax or a hatchet in this than you are in this. All right, let's talk a little bit about the sheets. The sheets themselves are both great. Uh, finally, Tops did come up with a OD green. I know this is not new. There are a couple of OD green type sheets out there and I'm glad they went with this as opposed to the regular old black one it does give you a few more options such as the pockets but it is that um, nylon sheet it does not have a button snap I don't know if the new ones do because mine's pretty old but it has uh, velcro all right which everybody knows can get stuff stuck in it molly strapping has strapping on the sides uh, as far as the sheet for the El Chete excellent sheet they do come with a dangler or the clip this happens to have the clip in it and it's an excellent sheet it's kydex it's not going to wear on you you don't have to worry about water you could just you know wash it off clean it out and you're good to go all right so if you're not familiar with if you're not if you don't like that clip you can get a dangler sheath all right give you an idea of what it looks like inside the sheath now with the kukri, it is only set up one way. You cannot flip that knife around. You would have to take the insert out in order for you to flip it around the other side. Uh, and with the kukri, it's just kydex, so obviously it only slips in at one side. All right, so what are my final thoughts? Obviously, these knives are purpose-built. So I do feel that the Bushcrafter kukri, although a really, really nice blade, and it does serve a lot of purposes, I wish it was longer. Um, to me, it just seems like it's too short. And again, I understand it's for bushcraft. Bushcrafters don't usually like a very large blade, uh, you know, maybe for heavy tasks, but that's about it. So I get that, and I think it's a great blade. The El Chete, uh, in my opinion, is what I would probably go with more for a survival situation because it gives me a lot of length. Uh, I do have to warn you though that if you are going to cut down very large logs that it will probably get stuck more often. Again, that's personal preference. They are both excellent knives. I highly recommend both of them. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Now, I myself am not a bushcrafter, so I probably won't need all the fancy stuff to do with that knife or either of these knives. I'm looking to build a shelter. I'm looking to get out of Dodge. I'm looking to clear trails. So that's really what I would probably do with either one of these knives. Both of them are excellent. I highly recommend both of them. Hope this video helped. If it did, smash that likes button. Please subscribe. Make sure that you put the comments down below. And as always, guys, stay safe.